I love watching that scene because it, it, it's so cathartic to me to see someone hitting a wall, but also I think of that as empowering too, mm. you know, like yeah. I would have saved years of my life had I shaved my head years ago. <laughs> what was it like emotionally to yeah. do that? It was intense. Um, I had been attached to the, to the project about two years before and I told myself, I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna cut my hair even though it's in the script. Um, we can use a prosthetic wig right. cap. You, can you know, you can up. do that with, in this day and age right. because the technology is so good, it looks real. But as I kind of delved into the character and really started to think about the messages of the movie, which are so important for all women, um, I said, there's no way I can't wow. you have not to do it. Yes. Embrace it. Yeah. And, but it still was terrifying, yes. But we're, look, it's so gorgeous though. I mean, give me a break. It's like Gail Ann Dorsey, you know, the really cool <laughs> bass player from Bowie. So, uh, were you happy with it once, once well, you it was know, done? You know, it's so interesting. Dang, this is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. I kind of revealed it. I was terrified to do it. We had to do it in one take. So when you see that in the movie, it's wow. actually, that's all my hair, and that's actually me really shaving it. It was Crazy. one take. And, um, you know, I revealed it on, on uh, Instagram, and I was so surprised because the response was just so positive. Men, like I had so many men calling me saying, "Can Say I come rub sexy. your head?" I, yeah, exactly. I, I was like, "Love your balls." Exactly. Head. They yeah. wanted to rub. <laughs> Women were, you know, just saying, you know, just like actually really encouraging me to keep it. I actually shaved it for a while after it's I finished. Sexy. Yeah, it, it felt really good.